and a happy Easter to you. And I'm back with um, chapter 20 of 1 Kings. And let's start off. This is what it says. It says, Ahab's, Ahab's wars with Syria. Ben-Hadad, the king of Syria, gathered all his army together. Thirty-two kings were with him, and horses and chariots, and he went up and closed in on Samaria and fought against it. And he sent messengers to the city to Ahab, king of Israel, and said to him, Thus says Ben-Hadad, Your silver and your gold are mine, your best wives and children are also mine. And the king of Israel answered, As you say, my lord, O king, I am yours and all that I have. The messengers came again and said, Thus says Ben-Hadad, I sent to you, saying, Deliver to me your silver and your gold, your wives and your children. Nevertheless, I will send my servants to you tomorrow about this time, and, and they shall search your house and the houses of your servants, and lay hands on whatever pleases you, and take it away. Then the king of Israel called all the elders of the land and said, Mark now, and see how this man is seeking trouble, for he sent to me for my wives and my children. And for my silver and my gold, and I did not refuse him. And all the elders and all the people said to him, Do not listen or consent. So he said to the messengers of Benadad, Tell my lord the king, and all that you first demanded of your servant I will do. But this thing I cannot do. And the messengers departed and brought him word again. Benadad sent to him and said, The gods, uh, which are really demons, do so to me, and more also, if, if the dust of Samaria shall suffice, for, for a handful for all the people who follow me. And the king of Israel answered, Tell him, let not him be straps on his arm and boast himself as he who takes it all. When Benadad heard this message as he was drinking it with the kings in the booths, he said to his men, Take your positions. And they took their positions against the city. Ahab defeated Benadad. And behold, a prophet came to, and says, and behold, a prophet near, or, and a prophet came near to Ahab, king of Israel, and said, Thus says the Lord, have you seen all this great multitude? Behold, I will give it into your hand this day, and you shall know that I am the Lord. And Ahab said, By whom he said, Thus says the Lord, by the servants of the governors and of the districts. Then he said, Who shall begin the battle? He answered, You. Then he mustered the servants of the governors of the district, and they were two hundred thirty-two. After them he mustered all the people of Israel, seven, seven thousand. And they went out at noon while Benadad was drinking himself drunk, and the boost he and the thirty-two kings who helped him, the servants of the governors of the districts went out first, and Benadad sent out scouts, and they reported to him. Men are coming out from, from Samaria, he said. They, if, they come out of, if they come out for peace, take them alive. Or if they come out for war, take them alive. So these went out to the city, and the servants of the governors of the districts, and the army that followed them, and he struck down this man. The Syrians fled, and Israel pursued them, but Benadad, king of Syria, escaped. On a horse and with horsemen, and the king of Israel went out and struck the horses and the chariots and struck the Syrians with a great blow. Then the prophet came near to the king of Israel and said to him, "Come, strengthen yourself and consider well what you have what you have to do for in the for in the, for in the spring. The king, of, the king of Syria will come up against you." And the servants of the king of Syria said to him, "There are gods or gods of the hills, and so what, they're really demon, demons, of course. They're not really gods. They're false gods." And so they were stronger than we. But let us fight against them in the plain, and surely we shall be stronger than they. And do this, remove the kings each from his post, and put commanders in their places, and muster an army like the army that you have lost, horse for horse and chariot for chariot. Then we will fight against them in the plain, and surely we shall be stronger than they. And he listened to their voice and did so. Ahab defeated Benadad again. In the spring, Benadad mustered the Syrians and went up to Aphek to fight against Israel. The people of Israel were mustered and were provisioned and went against when they went against them. The people of Israel encamped before them like two little flocks of goats, but the Syrians filled the country, and a man of God came near and said to the king of Israel, Thus to the Lord, because the Syrians have said the Lord is a God of the hills, but he is not a God of the valleys, therefore I will give all this great multitude into your hand, and you shall know that I am the Lord. And they encamped the opposite of one another for seven days, about a week. Then on the seventh day the battle was joined, and the people of Israel struck down, down, struck down the Syrians, a um, hundred thousand foot soldiers in one day. I Meaning they killed about a hundred thousand Syrians in one day, and the rest fled to the city of Aphek, and the wall fell upon twenty-seven thousand men who were left. So about a hundred twenty-seven thousand Syrians died that day. 
Um, Benadad also fled and entered an inner chamber of the city, and his servants said to him, Behold now, we have heard that the kings of the house of Israel are merciful kings. Let us put sackcloth around our waist and ropes on our heads and, and go out to the king of Israel. Perhaps we will spare your life. So they tied sackcloth around their waist and put ropes on their heads and went to the king of Israel and said, Your servant Benadad says, Please let me live. And he said, Does he, does he still live? He is my brother. And now the men were watching for a sign, and they quickly took it up upon him and said, or it says, and it quickly took it up from him and said, Yes, your brother Benadad. Then he said, Go and bring him. Then Benadad came up, came out to him, and he caused him to come up into the chariot. And Benadad said to him, The cities that my father took from my father, I will restore. Or let me say this again: The cities that my father took from your father, I will, I will restore. And you may establish bazaars for yourself in Damascus, as my father did in Samaria. And Ahab said, I will let you go on these terms. So he made a covenant with him and let him go. A prophet condemns Benadad's release. And a certain man of the sons, and the prophet said to his fellow, at the command of the Lord, strike me please, but the man refused to strike him. And then he said to him, Because you have not obeyed the voice of the Lord, behold, as soon as you have gone from me, a lion shall strike you down, or shall, or shall, or shall kill you. And as soon as he had departed from him, a lion met him and struck him down or killed him. Then he failed, or then he found another man and said, "Strap me, please." And, and the man struck him or killed him, and, and wounded him. Um, or it says that it says, "Strap me, please." And the man struck him and sh struck him again, and, and, and he wounded him. He didn't kill him really; he just wounded him bad. So the prophet departed and waited for the king to by the way disguise himself with a with a bandage over his eyes. And as the king passed, he cried to the king and said. Your servant went out into the midst of the battle, and behold, a soldier turned and brought a man up to me, and said, Guard this man, if by any means he is missing, your life shall be for his life, or else you shall pay a talent of silver. And as your servant was busy here and there, he was he was gone. The king of Israel said to him, So shall your judgment be, and you yourself have decided it. Then he hurried to take the bandage away from his eyes, and the king of Israel recognized him as one of the prophets. And he said to him, Thus says the Lord, Because you have let go one of your hand, or one, yeah, one of your hand, the man whom I devoted to destruction. Therefore, your life shall be for his life, and your people for his people. The king of Israel went to his house, vexed in his soul, and came to Samaria. So, ch chapter twenty is about Ahab's wars with Syria, about Syria and Israel at war, of course. And then Ahab, or then Israel defeats Syria, and um, and then. Israel ended up defeating Syria again. They fought two times, and Israel won it both. And the prophet um, comes and let's see here real quick. Yeah, and then a prophet comes and then condemns because um, Israel had captured Syria's king, which was a uh, because King Ahab was the king of over Israel. King ben Benahad was a uh, king over Syria, and uh, of course. Um, Israel defeated Syria twice. And Israel captured Syria's king, but then Israel did, made a mistake by releasing Syria's king. And then God sent one of his prophets to condemn Israel for, for releasing Syria's king. So that's chapter 20. And they also have a map here, real quick. Ahab's wars with Syria. Ahab's reign was marked by a repeated conflict with Benadad of Syria. Benadad's poor military organization accounted for his failed siege of Samaria, and Ahab defeated him again the next spring at Aphek. Ahab had lost his life, however, attempting, attempting to retake Ramoth Gilead from Benadad, the eastern edge of his kingdom. Says, uh, of course, you have Syria, Israel, Judah, Ammon here, and all that. Says Benadad besieges Samaria, so Israel takes over Samaria, which is um, let's see here, real quick. Yeah, that would have been uh. Northern Israel today. And then Benadad battles Israel at Aphek. Which then, yeah, once, once Benadad had uh, taken over Samaria or, nor or Northern Israel, he went back to Aphek and he took over that city as well. Aphek, Aphek is, of course, around the Sea of Galilee today. Um, and then Benadad battles Israel and Judah at Ramoth Gilead. So then, then, so then he fights Israel and Judah at, um, at Ramoth Gilead. Which is over in Jordan today, actually. So this is the uh, 
map of that. Let me show it real quick. Yep. There's the map of that. You see the arrows. Um, you, see, you see Syria coming from Damascus and trying to take over Israel. So um, there you go. That's that right there. Of course, Israel defeats you know, Syria in chapter 20. So <laughs> that's chapter 20. Ahab's wars with Syria. Ahab defeats Benadad, and then Ahab defeats Benadad again, and then Prophet condemns Benadad's release. I'll be about 21 here, here, here shortly.